Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Co. and today we're at the Grease Station location. This is the heart of your kitchen. We do a lot of cooking, we make a fair amount of mess. And if there's one thing that I've learned, the key to a happy kitchen is a clean cooking area. An approach you can take is to spray, literally from the top, from the range hood, underneath into the filters, the backsplash onto the stove top and then into the oven. And then what you do is whilst the universal cleaning solution is working into the heavier fats on the oven and the stove top, you then begin to clean and wipe down from the top down. Now many of you will have a stainless steel range hood. Mine's integrated, it's this cabinetry here. But just do the touch test because what will happen is that cooking grease, it'll settle on all surfaces in your kitchen. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give it a light spray quick wipe down that the Co Universal Cleaner really cuts through that grease and will leave the surface just nice and silky. So next up we've got the range hood area. This area does collect a lot of grease as well. Firstly, check the filters. There's grease settling there. Just give it a bit of a spray and I'll leave those for a couple of minutes. After five minutes or so, I like to put them into a sink of really hot water, as hot as you can go, and then just let them in there again for sort of five to 10 minutes. Or you can just put them into your dishwasher. For some of you, I know, are gonna have larger filters. Just drop them into a bath with really hot water and do the rinse there. What I'm also gonna do is I'm just gonna spray my cloth here, and just because it's upside down, it's a bit of an enclosed space, and there's electrics there. Wipe this area down. I can feel it's nice and silky, it's clean. Okay, so next up, we've got the splashback. Now, generally, we've got a bit of grease buildup. What you can see here, these are just splashes of, of fat or grease or food. So I'm just gonna give these a bit of a spray down there. But what I'm gonna do here as well, don't forget we've got the little scrubby corner on the co cloth. So this is a non-scratch um, abrasive uh, scouring pad. And these, these little splashes are often will have uh, dried out and be a little bit harder. So I just can rub them over there. Look, they're coming off really nice and easy. So that's our splashback. So onto the stove. Now I've just obviously got the day-to-day -day food spills that have occurred during cooking. I'm gonna grab one of the diamond sponges, spray that down a little bit. Just take that off, I'm just going to. Just give that a little polish there. And look, there you go. Beautiful. That's the rings clean, we've got those black spots off. Now I'm just gonna give it's a liberal spray. This is really just a quick wipe down, and away we go. And if I've got any stubborn bits, on the stainless steel, I'm not gonna use the diamond sponge because that is gonna scratch it, but instead I'm just gonna resort back to my little scrubby corner on the cloth and that's gonna get any sort of bits that have got a bit dried on there during the cooking process and away we go. One of the banes of everyone's lives is this door and the fat that splashes back. We're just gonna do a nice liberal spray on this one. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes. We're gonna introduce our diamond sponge. Really confident we're gonna get that. There you go. Nice and easy. Nice and lightly as well, so I'm not sort of needing to push down. We do want to obviously just make sure you're not gonna leave any micro abrasions on the, on the glass. Oven door back to new. And last but not least, just a quick spray down on the outside, just so you've got it looking nice and brand new. And that's job done. So there you have it. That's how I turn my grease station into a cook station. I'd really love to see photos of your cook station. Plus also share any tips that you have using Co to clean this area as well. My name's Adam, this is Co, and thanks for watching.